Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. In the last episode, I got a little salty. I got a little salty, not gonna lie. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're, <laughs> we're gonna go in a little bit clean oh. now. Ooh, that's expensive. Oh. Um, did I only need one of those or two of those? Mmm, I need some amber too. Is that what that is? Is that what that's called, Amber? Uh, that one's a little bit less expensive, so that's good. Uh, okay. A sparkling solution. You meet the dye merchant again and learn that he needs gems for dyeing and to fund his business. It seems that he can't create colors without the gems. How curious. The dye merchant created new colors. Using the gems you provided, there should be a new selection of colors in stock now. It's worth checking out. Okay. I think we can do this as well. What bad weather? Uh, what bad weather? Question mark. A merchant group wants to improve the flow of regional goods around Western Hyrule. Help them prepare for the varied climates they'll travel through. Discount in West Hyrule. Let's get it. Thanks to your help, the merchant group was ready for anything, heat, cold, or lightning. They'll continue to keep moving goods for the sake of everyone in their regions. So yeah, this is the one we were trying to do last time, Echoing Footsteps, and its recommended level is level 25, which I don't quite agree with at this current difficulty level, but I think that it would have been easier had we been using a different character. Now, I didn't know that what exactly this mission was going to entail when I started it, so I started it with Link because he had the highest level. And yeah, what I'm thinking is probably this would be easiest with somebody who can get some di uh, height distance. So Mifa, she can launch herself up. That means that she can get a lot more, you know, hits on people's heads. She also might be able to launch herself up and hit the uh, stone on the stone talus. Um, but I also know that Zelda is really, really good against stone taluses. So I'm thinking that maybe Mifa or Zelda would be good on this mission, but we're going to ignore it for a while because it pissed me off, and uh, I hold grudges, damn it. <laughs> we'll go back to it later when we're overpowered. How about that? Oh, this one's glowing. I think we can do this one too then, huh? Two-handed weapon bonus combo. The treasure hunter's technique. The treasure hunters lurking in the ruins seem quite adept at fighting monsters. If Link gives them something to make exploring easier, they might be persuaded to teach him their ways. Hey. Among the treasure hunters was a claymore expert, as thanks for the supplies, he gave Link a master class on using two-handed weapons. I also think that echoing footsteps might be one of the fairy challenges, because it was very similar to the last fairy challenge we did which means that it might end with another fairy fight. And I'm guessing that those are supposed to be harder than normal. So maybe yes, maybe no, I'm not really 100% sure on that. But yeah, you take my point. Um, so we're just gonna go on to the next mission because I just want to uh, do something today, get some progress done after that disappointment of an <laughs> of an ending to last episode, so I want to accomplish something today. So we're going to go ahead and do Destroy the Yiga Clan, which has a recommended level of 33. And uh, since we're going to be doing this before anybody's at level 33, we need to train some people up. Oh, I forgot, you can only train up to Link's level, I think, so, uh, maybe not oh. then. Maybe we do need to uh, have Link go into a couple more missions and do some things to level up. That way we can level everybody else up. Um, okay, N there's no required character, so we can switch out whoever we want, honestly. Hmm. Okay, I guess we need to do some more missions. Uh, we need to train up Link a little bit more. Thing is, it's like I'm nervous about these now. I don't know if they're gonna be as monstrously difficult as that last one was. Oh, I just hate time trials. This one is not time trialed, so maybe we'll do this one, huh? Um, recommended level is 26. Uh, both of our characters meet that. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and do this one, then, I suppose. Mighty Thunder of the Gerudo. We still haven't piloted the beast for, uh, for our girl here. Hmm. 
Show me your power. Yeah, let's just go ahead and go in with that. I'm also considering maybe doing some off-screen stuff. Um, I wouldn't do anything, any missions that I haven't done. All I would do off-screen is play missions that we've already done that will give us rewards for things that we need. Um... I haven't fully decided whether I'm going to do that or not, but I might start doing that. Just to keep things moving smoothly. Because it kind of feels like, uh... We might end up having to grind fairly soon if we're not careful, so... We'll see, we'll see. Okay. Capture all outposts is our goal right now. Okay, I also need to collect items and I need to collect um, things for my staff. It would have helped us a lot in that last mission if we had charged up staffs, but uh, we were definitely completely out for that entire very difficult mission, so... Don't let the allied stronghold fall. Okay. More moblins just showed up, huh? God damn it. Probably kill both, yeah. Alright, I think I'm gonna keep Urbosa there just in case that happens again. And Link is gonna work on these uh, bases. I forgot how to use his heavy weapons, so this might take a minute to get used to. Wrong thing.
Ah, he's facing the wrong direction. Okay, it's a pretty good weapon. Got both of them, huh? Nice. Seems like a pretty good crowd control. Oh, it just hits hard, doesn't it? All right, let's go get this uh, other base that's uh, over this direction. All right, you need to head towards this, and I think our Bosa, we need you to help us. That's not what I want. long combos that you can't break out of, so I do need to be a little bit careful about how I use them. Boxes on those boxes with this weapon is a little weird, isn't it?
stop running. There you go. That's what I was trying to do. It's nice to know I can do that when I'm uh, in a jog, though, huh? Combos on this weapon are really fun. made it into what strong? I don't see them on any of ours. Does it... What is it referring to? Is there one here? Or is it just referring to this? He just keeps running. Holy shit, dude. I was trying to stop him and have him eat. they hurt. God.
Come on, run at me, bro. Right. Gotten a little close there at the end, wasn't I? Okay, we charged up our thunder one. Okay, Link has now at least met the level 33. Time between. Oh, that's the stasis one. Okay. Okay, nothing we can buy from marked places. Level 26. Um, I'm not dealing with time trials today, so I'm just going to look at the ones that aren't time limited. Oh my gosh. It's like all of them. Why? Okay, this one's not time limited, but it is a fairy fountain one, which means it could be difficult. Okay, level 27, restricted allies, some more thunder. Hey, we'll get some uh, uh, silent princesses. I know we need that for something. So yeah, getting Link's level up just means that whatever his level is at is what we can train everybody else up to, which is kind of nice. So if we can get him to a 34, I'm down for that. We can at least now get everybody to 33 to meet the level requirement of the current mission, which would be good. I got your back, girl. There certainly are a lot of monsters. Let's deal with them cautiously as we advance. Okay. You gonna follow me? Okay, she is gonna kinda go at her own pace. Yeah, that does not do very much damage. I feel like that's mostly for, like, breaking enemies. Because, like, if you hit their weak points, you can, you know, work on their break gauge. I think that's mostly what it's for, or to kind of, like, stop ranged attackers from being able to hit you because you stun them. Like, I've used it to stop charges at me and things like that, so... It's definitely not for damage, though. Following you, girl. Mm, I want to kill you, though. No, we don't even need you, actually. Thunder is the one that we're, we have charged up. We're getting close on fire. We need some ice. He <laughs> went right through the middle of those. 
Giga Clan? Good. I think we got the kill. Oh, close. Oh, thought I moved far enough. Sloppy. I think items can come out of these when you break them. Is that true? That one didn't. Maybe it's only the large ones? Take a hot minute, aren't you? I thought I was in the right direction, and I clearly was not. stayed out of that fight, didn't she? <laughs> I mean, she 
could have helped a little, you know? <laughs> Eightfold long blade. Is that one? Would that be considered a one-handed or two-handed? Okay, let's check the map and see if uh, if we can uh, get anything. I think the Silent Princess may have unlocked something on the map. Probably not one of the ones we have marked, but. Oh, interesting. Hinox trophy. Oh, that gives a special attack gauge. So yeah, it looks like when these kind of have that pulse, that larger pulse of the icon, that's when you have everything that you need, so... Uh, Sheikah Slate bonus combo, Soothing Tensions. Impa is worried about the researchers at the Royal Tech Lab. Their work has hit an impasse, and they're all feeling frustrated. Maybe there's something you can do to ease the tension. I've done it! The Royal Tech Lab was steeped in calming vapors. With their frayed nerve suit, the researchers made a major breakthrough. You can expect even better results from them now. Alright, her combos are weird. We have, like, a double X's, and I need to start... Looking at those and trying those out a little bit more, I think. All right, anything else that's pulsing? Have we gotten materials to unlock anything else? I don't think so. Keys trophies, huh? Okay. What else do we want to mark? Probably you. We should definitely do something with a Hinox so that we can unlock this as quickly as possible. Special attack gauge is awesome, so. We're getting closer on that one. Okay. Well, with that, I suppose, uh, you know what, let's uh, go ahead and level up some of our people, and then we'll end this episode. Ooh. And then the next one, we'll do the next main story. my favorites, so they get level ups. <laughs> I think you can wait a little bit. Okay. Well, with that, I think we're going to end this episode, so thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.